Good morning. We are measuring the snow after yesterday's dumping in parts of the south and east. This is a ruler measuring the snow in Windmere. Michael took this photo of about eight inches of that snow there and a couple of spots reporting around eight inches here. And we're looking for your reports. If you've got some, let us know. Here's a look at our road conditions. You can see most of North Dakota looking just fine. This lines up pretty nicely with what our forecast was yesterday. You know, we talked about that extreme southeastern corner of North Dakota picking up the snow and that's right where we have the yellows and uh, purples on the map indicating some partially covered or snow covered roads and uh, some ice or compacted snow and slick spots right in those spots including in Fargo Moorhead so easy does it on your travels today and the same thing translates over into Minnesota as well anywhere where you see those highways in blue or purplish pink that magenta color there that's where we've got some roads that may be slick the stretches up toward uh, the Clearbrook Bagley and uh, Red Lake area Bemidji down through Minoman and of course Lakes Country and back down to the Wheaton area as well. This is one of the plow cams, a recent view from how things are looking out on the roads. This is along Highway 32 in Clay County. You can see we've still got some snow on the roads, uh, a highway that uh, it's traveled fairly well, of course, uh, overnight, probably not too many drivers on it. But as we pick up uh, for the uh, morning commute, it's going to get a little bit busier and, and you may encounter something like that uh, on some of your uh, county highways as well in these areas where we're looking at uh, that snow that fell. It's quieting down now. There may be a few flakes over into Hubbard County at the moment, but overall looking quieter here today. And our current conditions, we've got temperatures that are below freezing. We're into the 20s right now in Fargo and Grand Forks. Clear skies in some places, cloud cover in others, mostly seeing the clouds give way as we head into the afternoon today, but there will still be some clouds hanging around and a reinforcing shot of colder air that will be moving along a cold front and with it a few of those flakes, a few ice isolated snow showers. They'll be very light, but they may briefly reduce your visibility on your drive home this afternoon uh, if you happen to be driving through one of those. Temperatures will generally rise above freezing in probably the southern two-thirds of the valley, I would say, uh, where we've had that snow. That'll be good to work at melting it a little bit. Uh, not going to completely go away today, but gradually, little by little, uh, we'll see that snow start to diminish. And, and that's the difference between getting a snowfall event like this in March rather than, say, in November we're going to get an opportunity to melt it. Heading into this evening, quieting down and we're cooling down. We'll start the day tomorrow in the teens and that's going to feel a lot chillier than we've been. Temperatures back into the 30s, perhaps some places getting to 40 in the west and this weekend we'll warm up from there. We'll get back into that 50 degree range on Saturday, which again is well above average. We just warmed up so much at the beginning of the week that anything less than record setting temperatures feels cool to us right now. Yeah, it I does. would agree with that. <laughs> I <laughs> walked out this morning and was very upset that I had to clean off my car, but I was like, Jordan, it's the beginning of March. <laughs> Let's get with it. This is kind of normal around here. We're quickly spoiled. Thank yeah. you, Lisa.